hello all uh, welcome back to my channel today we shall discuss on uh, how to add a custom uh, library to a library browser in simulink so there are a few steps that you need to follow firstly uh, create a folder uh, here just new folder and uh, just add the name as a uh, okay custom library custom library and uh, set the path so right click and uh, add path to uh, selected folders and subfolders okay so once the path is added uh, okay you can just uh, make sure that it is added successfully by clicking here set path and you can see that it is added here um, after this uh, you need to uh, add a script actually so create on new script uh, uh, okay click on the new script and uh, if you go to this link i will add this link in the description so you get this uh, script just copy this <coughs> and uh, yes add here so yes this is the you know name of the uh, name that appears uh, uh, in the yes just a moment yes this is the name that appears in the library browser and this is the name of the block uh, let's give it as a uh, custom okay and we'll save it and we'll save it in the same uh, folder that we created yes so once we add this script uh, we need to uh, uh, add the library uh, uh, like the blocks that we need say for example we'll go to uh, simulink a blank library and uh, we'll add a few uh, blocks uh, for time being just say okay uh, we need uh, just think that we need an algebraic constant and uh, and okay we'll add a bus assignment for time being okay so we'll before saving this, before saving this, we need to run a, a command. So this command, just to make sure that you know uh, the it gets added in the library browser. So we'll just run this command. Go here and yes, run this command. So once the command is run, we can just save this uh, library. Uh, yes, uh, yes, we'll save this library. We'll save it with the same name that we just gave yeah okay save yes so just think that uh, we need to create uh, one more uh, uh, library so we just uh, click on new and uh, we'll go to library browser here now so we'll just refresh the library browser and if you see here uh my library got added and whatever the blocks that we added is also added here so this is how you create you know uh, custom library um, uh, that you want to create say for example your project needs um, project has some uh, you know uh, blocks or some implementation that needs to be used again and again say a timer implementation or a loop implementation or uh, something uh, like that for that matter so you can uh, do it in this way and you can save your time okay uh yeah uh, this was all about adding a you know, uh, custom library to the library browser. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, thank you.